41 point everybody welcome back to live for you tool and today we are doing something i've been wanting to do and planning to do for an absolutely long time we are making a mobile charging station primarily for 40 volt batteries because i need these around the farm i'm on the, my monster cart we're going to attach it to the monster cart first but we need that off-grid charging because you're not able to always plug in and you're not going to run your vehicle the whole time in order to charge it either so this is going to be i guess the most cost effective the most convenient if you're out there in the wilderness with your tools and all that good stuff so stick around let's go ahead and get into it all right so i got the solar panel on top I've got the wire running down through here, and these are SAE connections. Um, pull it in, I'm gonna show you what I wanna do. So I wanna make this as easy as possible. So I got the solar panels, these are monocrystal solar panels from Harbor Freight. They're about 100 bucks, 120 bucks a piece, but they are 100 watts, which is great. Let's see how much we're producing. We are in direct sunlight. So we wanna set it, not alternate, not the wavy line, but the straight line with the dashes underneath. That is direct current and that's what solar panels create okay we are producing 22 volts coming out of this that's awesome all right so let's go ahead and get it hooked up to our solar charge controller this is where all the magic happens we're going to take that dc voltage and we're going to change all the voltages within here we're going to connect it to this 40 volt charger Okay, everybody, so I have everything hooked up. Have the charge controller here, solar panels going into it. This is the charger for the battery. Let's go ahead and hook it up. And look at that, it came on. Maybe hard to see, see if I can get it in there. So it is charging, and that's all it takes. You can keep your batteries charged. You can keep them uh, off the grid. You don't need to be plugged into anything. You've got a super awesome charger here. I know you all are thinking that I'm the magic man and this just all mysteriously happens and I must be a genius. Actually, it's super simple and I'm gonna show you how we actually do it. So this is the connection that comes off of the solar panel. This is called an SAE connection. Now, this isn't typical for a lot of solar panels. Harbor Freight does this because it's not specialized to them, but I think it's a cheaper connection so they can make their solar panels a little bit cheaper, but they're super accessible. So we take this and we go into this. This is MPPT Boost uh, Solar Charge Controller. You can actually choose the voltage that uh, outputs onto this which is super nice so you can do whatever you really need to do with it um, except this does not do 12 volts I'll put a link for it down below and there is a uh, person his name's Chris with Serendipity Sue it's a YouTube channel he must be an electrical or electronics engineer because he talks about this stuff all the time and I am an avid watcher so thanks Chris so I did splice these two together with this SAE connection. So all I do is I take this, oops, you connect it. So your solar panel is now connected. Now you gotta be careful because your solar panel is always hot when you got it in the sun here. It's gonna be producing even in low light levels, you gotta be careful. Now the reason why you want a solar charge controller is because this controls the voltage. If it gets too low, it's going to shut it off and it's not going to put out any more voltage you got to protect that now what i did do if you look at the charger here i actually cut the uh, charging block off now what that does is that goes into your wall and that's ac type of power so it's 120 volts ac alternating current it goes through that block and it actually comes out volts dc that's direct current and then it goes into this charger right here now, since it's DC, solar panels are DC as well. So all we do, we splice that in. We have another connector here. We connect this up. And then you slide this on your battery and boom, you're charging. And it has all the same workings and control for this. So it's super simple. And it's actually really cost effective considering, I think this costs $50, this solar charge controller. The solar panel was another right around 100, 120 dollars. Um, for less than 200 dollars, I have a 
setup to charge these right here. Now, I'm not going to put any type of wiring or splicing instructions because really, I don't want to be responsible for somebody messing up and hurting themselves. But, it's not hard to do. And that's not it. You can hook up multiple panels and you can put multiple battery chargers on there too. This is super simple, super cost effective, super easy in order to get this done. All right, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful, maybe educational. Please do not try this at home. You may hurt yourself. You may do something really bad. And I don't want to be responsible for that, so don't do it. But please remember to share this video because sharing is caring and your friends really do want you to care about them and all your family too. So I hope that I see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.